Hello Steam Deck and Linux fans, Liam here. Proton 8.0-3 has now been released, pulling in lots and lots of fixes from Proton Experimental. Proton Experimental also had its own little update, so I'll basically run over all the main bits for you, plus there's some GE Proton upgrades as well to run over, and after that I'm going to give you just a couple of useful tips. It won't be a long video, just a news video to get the word out. So first up, Proton Experimental was updated to now fix the constant Battle.net update failing. So for those of you who have it installed directly in Steam, just swap over to Proton Experimental and it should work properly again. I do have two videos up on different ways of setting up Battle.net with Diablo 4 as well, so be sure to take a look at that if you need a hand in actually sorting it. The other fix in Proton Experimental is that if you use the Resident Evil 4 tweaks, it will no longer break mouse support in Resident Evil 4. Proton 8.0-3 is the big one though. This is what pulls over tons of changes from Proton Experimental into the main stable version of Proton for running the majority of games. This includes various titles that were previously only playable really with Proton Experimental, including the likes of Prop Knight, Combat Mission Battle for Normandy, Blood Rain Terminal Cut 1 slash 2, Breakout 13, Mirasaki Sarugi, Poo Shooter Toilet Invaders, Pergo Box, Olympia Rising, Summoner's War Chronicles, Ghost Recon Breakpoint, Minecraft Legends, Company of Heroes Battle of Crete, Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origin, Gunfire Reborn, and lastly Super Bomberman R. They're also listing newly playable as Street Step 21st Century Basketball. They've also fixed up Battle.net not starting. They fixed the EA launcher crashing. They fixed Ubisoft Connect intermittently having an invisible window. They fixed the scroll bar and the Final Fantasy XIV online launcher. And they also fixed the Epic Online Services error message with Returnal and other Epic Online Services games. So as you can see, there's a lot of launchers that keep having issues that Valve keep having to fix in Proton. Third-party launchers are just so annoying. Proton 8.0 Daspri fixes a whole lot of other bugs elsewhere with lots of games from Call of Duty 2 to New World, Lara Croft and the Temple of Osiris. There's lots and lots of fixes. Red Dead Redemption 2, Elder Scrolls Online, Planet Side 2's launcher, and the list goes on. It's a really big update, so make sure you go and grab it. Updating Proton itself is really simple. You just look for it in your downloads if you already have it installed and you just update it like anything else. Otherwise, if you don't already have it, you can just search for Proton in your Steam library, not the Steam store, in your library, and then just install them there. Then to change a Proton version for a game, just go into the properties of the game, into the compatibility menu, tick the box, and then just select the version you want. Nice and simple. We did also have GE Proton that was upgraded, and then it had a few hot fixes afterwards. This one is more interesting for desktop Linux users, though, because it adds back AMD FSR1 support directly into GE Proton and enables it by default. So for desktop Linux users or Steam Deck in desktop mode, this enables you to set AMD FSR1 on pretty much any game that you want. You don't need it in gaming mode on Steam Deck though, since that already has AMD FSR1 built into the performance menu. Now just some quick tip reminders. Firstly, remember to check out Proton Database, which is a community crowdsourced compatibility reporting site for Steam games running through Proton on Linux and Steam Deck. If you want to get Proton Database ratings directly on Steam pages, there are some useful browser plugins that you can use in like Chrome or Firefox, whatever browser you want. You just look for Proton Database for Steam extensions, and then when installed, Steam pages will have a nice Proton Database rating at the top, which is also a link to the Proton Database page where you can instantly just go and see all the user comments on it. Additionally, you can also add Proton Database ratings on Steam Deck in gaming mode using Decky Loader's plugin system. I have a video up on how to install Decky Loader already, so be sure to go back and look at that if you need to. But inside Decky Loader on Steam Deck, just grab the Proton Database Badges plugin from the Decky plugin store, and then Game Pages will nicely show the Proton Database rating badge 
in a position of your choosing with mine set to the top left that you can also click on as well to go to the Proton Database page. It's really useful stuff because you only get so far with Valve's official deck verified system. So just hopping over to Proton Database to see what everyone else is saying about whatever game that you're interested in can just be really helpful. But that's it for today's Proton News. Be sure to like, comment and help me feed the hungry YouTube algorithm and I'll see you next time.